that the Christian news is needed, is needed in our country. The Christian news is your newspaper, your voice, your victory. And partnership is not a new thing. Partnership is actually, it's actually God's idea. Because even Jesus needed partnerships, partners. Therefore, God made sure that the apostles and the disciples and peep, there were people to support Jesus. He couldn't do it alone. And it's for that reason we, as a newspaper, we're not able to do this alone. If you think you can do something alone, whew, then you must be superman or superwoman because partnership is actually biblical. We've always been arguing every day on the things that we see on television, on print media every day. Like when you are seated here today, there's a grandmother somewhere in Mutare who's busy crafting wood, ne? making spoons, making nice pots. But that story of that grandma will never be told. Like you were saying, you are feeding so many homeless people, you will never make headlines in television because what? That's not scandals. Those who won't even get the front page of a newspaper, I can advise you go tomorrow and buy a newspaper tomorrow. What will be the headlines? Scandals, scandals. But at the same time, there are a lot of South Africans that are doing a lot of good. Those stories are not done. So with this, I believe we are going to become the voice of the voiceless. And then that, 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 that is part of my mandate because my, my job also is to support initiatives like this. Media has got a very critical role to play in, in society. But with the current one, especially to me, my expectation is that media must contribute towards social cohesion, nation building. But we all know what is the narrative. And I'm accused all the time of attacking media. That's why it becomes so unpopular. Because I'm saying the media of South Africa that we're dealing with, you will never see what's happening. You go to other countries, you watch their television sets, you read their articles, they are so patriotic. And like somebody has said, it's not all that is not well in this country. There's a lot of good things that are happening in this country. But that story is not told. Who's supposed to tell the story? It's prints like this ones that as government we think we need to to, 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 I'm hopeful that the journalists that are working for this media house are equipped to, to report on the range of issues that relates to Christianity. Yes, you need to show some element of professionalism because also for your newspaper to sell, it needs to be edited. There were things that we were seeing re recently that were unchristian. These healing methods that you have been seeing of late on television, people eating snakes, I need to say it up front here. I don't think that's the gospel that we preach all of us here. And then we need to condemn it with contempt. Yeah, you, I understand that South Africa is a secular democracy wherein then it's got freedom of religion. But then you know that religion at times they represent ethnic and regional diversity of the population. But we know Christianity has been throughout the world, all over, dominant. And then we have got the responsibility through this newspaper to bring back those Christian values. We need to bring them, we need to stand up with one voice and bring back those Christian values. What I've also observed is that this newspaper is now currently circulated in four provinces. That's Yampumalanga, Northwest, my home province, and here. So I'm, I'm proud to learn that uh, also the talks are underway with one of the leading newspaper distribution country in the country to help uh, spread the distribution across all the nine provinces.